everyone, I'm Alice and today I'm just doing a really quite chill video all about everything I've bought for uni so far. Um, there is a lot so far. It hasn't been results day yet. I don't actually know if I've got into uni or not. Anyway, I've got absolutely loads of stuff from Ikea, Asda, Sainsbury's, Primark Home, other places I don't even know where this stuff is from and I just thought I would do a nice little haul of what I've got so far. Um, the amount of stuff I've got is ridiculous, I've tried to keep costs low but I still have so much stuff that I still need to get so this is not everything I'm going to be leaving with and I have no clue how I'm going to manage to take it with me to uni. So that's fun. I'm not going to do this haul with any structure because <laughs> I don't know how to structure this amount of stuff, so we'll just see how it goes. I'm also sorry for the crappy lighting. I'm... I'm... I'm crap. I'm just crap. Sorry. I'm really crap. Okay, so I think actually I'll start with the big items and get them out of the way. Okay, so this is not really gonna fit in frame. This is just a print of Manhattan in New York to go on my wall. Um, at the uni I've applied to, providing I get in, I might not, I hope I do, please let me in, um, the walls, <sighs> the walls, okay, so, you have a feature wall in your room, it's either blue, cool, nice colour, red, I can deal, yellow, okay, or green, green, oh, <laughs> so, Worst case scenario, if I hate the colour of my wall, this is big and I'll just stick it in the middle and hope people don't look at the horrible colour. Yay! Um, and I just love New York and I thought this print was really cute and this was from Ikea and I think it was literally £8. It's just a poster, a thin poster, but it's on like cardboard backing, so I might keep the cardboard there. Um, it'd be really nice to frame it, but I don't know, it might be a bit too heavy to hang on the wall then. It could be fine, but we'll see. Who knows? Oh god. I don't know if I can lift this up. Oh, I'm weak. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. <sighs> this is the only bit of furniture that I've actually bought. Um, because obviously my room's gonna be furnished. Or oh, that's what I've been told. <laughs> um, so this is a lac table from Ikea. But it's one of the long ones. I'll put in a photo of it like fully assembled. And it it looks like it's going to be really good, so it's quite low down, but I thought I could put it underneath my full length mirror that is in my room. And then I could like put all my makeup and hair dryer and everything on that and that could be quite handy. And then on the bottom, bottom shelf or underneath that I could put my shoes or something and treat it like a mini shoe rack. So that's an option. And this was, I don't know, I'll find out, bear with. The internet tells me that it was £16 but I don't feel like I paid that much for it. I probably did. I don't really know. I paid money for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I'm, I'm not a good YouTuber. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm a mess. So that's like my two mahoosive items out of the way. Um, but since they were both Ikea, let's just stick with the Ikea theme and look what else I bought. So I was actually a little bit disappointed with Ikea. I think I'd built it up in my head to be incredible but actually a lot of the stuff was overpriced. Like, overall, the stuff there is fairly cheap, but there was some stuff like utensils and stuff that I just thought I could get cheaper elsewhere, so I just I just didn't get them. So I ended up just getting a lot of, like, decor and random bits like that from Ikea, so, I don't know. So first off, I got this plant. Cute little plant. It What is it called? A Vajaka plant. A plant. I also got this sort of hanging leaf fake oh yeah these are fake plants because there's no chance I could keep them alive I'm gonna struggle to keep myself alive um, so this is a hanging plant that I thought I could hang on over my desk there's like a little again if I get into the accommodation I hope I'm getting into I don't know what's happening so this oh god anyway I'm gonna put this on like the top shelf that is above my desk and have it artfully hang down I got the Bardarin rug thing. I've got a wet room so this is just a cheap little one I can put on the floor and walk out of the shower onto. Nice, simple, easy. I got, I'm sorry I'm killing the environment, 
I hate myself. Soda straws. They're actually called soda straws, that's not just me saying soda straws. Soda straws. Um, I thought they were cute colours and I just feel like in freshers might be helpful. I'm sorry for killing the environment, I'm sorry I'm a bad person. I dropped the straws. I should really try and get some paper straws as well. I will, I'll try. I want to get a reusable straw. I want to get one of those metal ones that like fold up, but I just don't know how I'd clean it. I got two plastic blue cups. Doesn't have a name on them. Product code 902.649.68. There you go, blue plastic cups, simple. I got a pack of scissors for all my scissor needs. I don't want to stab myself. Scissors! Be careful, kids. I got a little... What do you call this? A thing. It's like what you used to get toast out the toaster so you don't kill yourself or use a metal knife because that would be bad. I got a microwavable thing to put on top of things I put in the microwave so I don't destroy the microwave. I got some hangers, because everybody needs hangers, even though my wardrobe will be tiny and I won't be able to fit anything in it. Yay! I got some Pruta little yellow lunchbox things. I thought these would be quite good for putting like little bowls of fruit in and taking them with me if I can afford fruit. <laughs> um, and yellow, so they're nice and bright, so I know they're mine. Don't you think about stealing them? Unless you also have these, because IKEA is popular. I bought a dustpan and brush, because I don't know how I'm going to cope with other people being messy, but I'm not a messy person, despite what this currently looks like. Um, I want to be clean, so I got a dustpan and brush. Good. I got a really cute blue what do you call this turquoise greeny blue turquoise i'm not good with colors just one of the ikea bags but super cheap and i thought it would be great for just carrying my washing in down to the washing machine and dryers and stuff so handy affordable good i bought some oh how do i say this forney bar i bought some Forney bar plastic bags to put lunches in and stuff or seal anything up if I want to put it back in the fridge and reuse it. I've got a pillow, a pillow, but it's wrapped up like this, which is really handy. So I'm going to keep it like this and then should be easier to transport. Um, took me ages to figure out what these two little symbols meant. I think that means hard pillow and that means soft. So I've got a soft agzag pillow. I got two basic bowls. Do these have a name? No, they're bowls. They're white bowls. Bowls! Yay. <gasps> Mickey ears. Cute. I don't actually have any plates really or anything like that yet. Um, mainly because I am going to Florida in three weeks. Good God. Um, so I'm hoping to buy some Disney stuff. <laughs> I'm Disney trash. I hate myself. I'm a five-year-old. What else did I? I got three times for Jekka fake cactuses all about the plants that I can't keep alive so I have to buy plastic ones yay for the environment um I got this smash star bed set um I only have a single bed but throughout my whole life I've only ever had a single bed and I always use a double bed cover because it just means it goes down the side of your bed and it's just it's just a bit cosier and nicer. So I got this set. Um, it's got loads of colours in and I thought that would be handy because I can only really buy natural bedding because of the wall colours. Um, so I thought this would tie into most of the room colours. Um, my mum hated it, but I liked it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have awful taste. Who knows? And so I do still need to get another bedding set, I think. Don't really want to just go with one. I got the Chosigit, um, what is this called? A grater. I got a grater. But it's got the big grates on that side and the small ones on that side and it's in a little tub which is 
handy so that yeah it's just handy ease convenience cool I got a big old glass to put my fruit ciders in because I will be using this a lot I got a pint glass for water and other alcoholic beverages but not beer because that is disgusting and I got just a little normal glass cute <laughs> I've got one of those lint roller things does this have a name Bastis Bastis there you go simple and finally from Ikea I got a bin everyone needs a bin I've also got two metal bins in the other room so I don't know why I need a third one but now I have three yay um, oh God, I'm running out of room to put stuff I think that was everything except I've just found some St John's ambulance training dressing in the Ikea bag I don't know where that's come from okay bye bye okay so that's Ikea done ticked off the list good now I'll go on to all the stuff I got from Primark home. So basically for me to go to Ikea, we have to drive to Birmingham Ikea, which is like an hour and a bit away, an hour and a half away from where I live. So, and the Primark in my town is really teeny tiny. So we stopped on the way home at a bigger Primark, but by that time it was like an hour until it closed. So I was just running around the home section, like going wild, putting things in my basket. And it was really sad because that Primark had so much good stuff. Like, I kind of wish I didn't buy some of the stuff I got at Ikea because it was cheaper and prettier at Primark. So, let's have a let's have a little peruse, shall we? Oh, I've actually got the receipt for Primark so I can tell you how much everything was. Okay, so the first thing is this woven mat, 70 centimetres by 140 centimetres. It's just like a really nice textured mat it's like I don't know if you can tell it's like all sewn in and it's really nice it's really really thick and it's just so like it's really luxury for Primark and I can just put this on my carpet and I thought it would just be really nice sort of go along my little room make it feel a bit more comfortable so that one was 13 pound amazing in, Pri in, in Primark in Ikea they were so much more expensive and none of them were that nice so thank you Primark home thank you I also got this pop-up storage bin it was four pounds it's a marble print it's just a basic one but I thought the marble was really really cute I've seen all of these ones from I think people get them from Argos in like the lights and the dark sort of laundry bins and they're so nice but they're like £30? And Lord knows I do not have that budget. Not with my maintenance loan. So, £4. Sorted. Easy. That was a fail. I hate myself. Cool. I got a fitted single grey bed sheet. I could have picked a cooler colour, but <laughs> I don't know what colour my walls are going to be. <laughs> so I got a grey one. A pack of 40 LED lights. Fairy lights with copper wire for £2.50 so I just feel like fairy lights can be really expensive I've never used the Primark ones so I don't know if they're really rubbish <laughs> but I'll find out um, there were other really cute ones like there were Mickey Mouse ones or little circle ones but they were the same price for half the length so I just thought hang on I'll give you a closer show up so there you go they're kind of like copper within wire casing if you can see that I don't know probably not um, but yeah, £2.50, can't go wrong. They go, the cable length is 4.1 metres, which is 13.45 feet, which is quite long, so nice. My mum didn't like these, she wanted me to get like um, striped ones, but they were the same price and I thought these were really cute. These are four pastel coloured tea towels for £3.50. There you go, so there's the purple there's a white, there's a baby pink which isn't coming up very well on camera and this cute mint um, so I thought they were super cute and I'd probably be able to identify them as mine a bit easier and yeah I like them a lot got some socks here, didn't realise reduced from £2.50 for a pound five pairs of socks lovely this was such a random purchase but I saw it 
and I just did not want to leave it for the grand total of £2.50. I got the little friend's sofa, but it's a little, what do you call it, photo holder. Friends, sofa, central perk, photo holder. Cute thing. Now, all this other Primark stuff is from trips that I've taken like a long time ago. So I've basically just been trying to pile stuff up over the last few months so that it's not so expensive now. It's still very expensive now. Um, and like my mum's been really kindly like adding some random bits onto like the weekly shop. So that's been good. So these are random bits from Primark and elsewhere too so these are from primark these are three overdoor hooks for a pound a pound for copper overdoor hooks that is so good and they're like nothing's gonna fall off because it's got quite a steep hook and i can just hang these over maybe my bathroom door maybe my main door even though it's a fire door i don't know and i could hang like towels or my dressing gown something like that for a pound! Amazing. I'm still probably going to get more of these if I can find them or another design, but smashing. I've got some command hooks, um, not the strips, just the hooks, so I'm allowed to put them on my wall and hang stuff up um, and they won't leave any damage. Yay, but they're so expensive. Why can't I use blue tack? Sad times. I've also got this this is cute. <laughs> this is one a random thing my mum got me. A travel sewing kit from Boots for emergency garment repair on the go. Slim, compact and lightweight. Um, there you go. Give you a little look. So there's some little scissors, some a safety pin. What is there? Needles, buttons, different colour thread. I don't know what a lot of that stuff is. Oh, needles, cotton, buttons, press studs. Needle thre needle threader? Didn't know that existed. Textiles, what did you teach me in year nine? Um, safety pin, pins, tweezers and scissors. Nice. Oh, I just found some stray normal command hook things with a bit of fluff on. Lovely. For £3 from Primark, I got this little copper thing. What is this called? Storage? storage box it's not a box it's a thing it's a thing i've also got the matching copper paper holder tray thing on my desk over there so i'll be taking that with me um for a bit of organization i have got not from primark but i've got 55 glow sticks i did not buy these in previous years i've owned these for about 10 years probably um but Uni, freshers, glow sticks, why not? Go wild is what I say. I don't say that. That was a lie. From Paper Chase, I went to Cheshire Oaks a few a few months ago, it was like last month, and I just saw these adorable little postcards. So I've had some of them before and they just have the cutest designs in Paper Chase. So I bought a load. I really shouldn't have, but they were too cute to leave, so I'm gonna pin these up on my notice board or on my wall. So I've got Game of Scones, <laughs> comedy gold. Um, I could not turn down Kit Harrington as a scone. 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 I say scone, not scone. What just happened? I don't know. Um, we've got Harry Trotter, which just makes me think of that bit in the Simpsons movie where Homer Simpson has, I think he calls him Harry Plopper. Not Trotter, but it's Spider Pig, and he walks him on the seat. I'm going off topic. This cute one that says girl power, woo woo. Bring a bit of pink to my room, even if I've got a yellow wall. Um, I've got one that said she believed she couldn't, so she did. Oh no. <laughs> it doesn't say that. It says she believed she couldn't, so she didn't. Wow. I thought that was actually really motivational and now I've just realised. Wow, that's probably not the best thing to have on my uni wall to motivate me. Oh well, it will match my wash basket. It's marble. I've got this one which is really cute. It's like silvery gold which doesn't match my copper theme but oh well. It says why limit happy to one hour which I am a firm believer in. I can only afford cocktails in happy hour. 
and I love cocktails. I've got this one which is pink again and it says sorry not sorry, classic little phrase, oh sorry light, bad lighting, sorry, oh where do I, okay there you go, ting. Um, I've got this one, I've just dropped another one, I've got and so the adventure begins, oh. and I studied English language at A level and I'm studying journalism at uni so I thought this little grammar one was cute, so it says a, it's a little comma saying don't stop, keep going to a full stop. Humour. I've got, I've had this for ages, I've got quite a few. These copper like, oh, trouser hangers from Primark, except I'm currently using it to hold up like a paper calendar in my room with one of these, um, where have they gone? The command hooks. With one of these, so I put one of these on my wall and then hang it from the hanger and then hang stuff in these little clips. And I think it's just, it's a really cute way to display things and yeah. Sweet. Also from Primark, I've got this, oh, what a deal. I've got another copper basket thing. I've got too many copper baskets, but this was two pound down from five pound. Bloody wonderful. I do wonder if, that's a noise. I think this one might have actually been reduced because it's got like a little, like I've pulled something off there. So maybe that was reduced too. Who knows? I've got this little box that I've had for years, but I've just never really used. Um, it's like a photo box, but it could be helpful for storage and I can put a little, little photo in there. Oh, I've got a loo brush because there's probably going to be a toilet brush there, but is it going to be gross? Probably. My granny gave me these like two years ago and when I got them I was like, I'll keep them for uni. Good thinking. It's a set of four Mickey Mouse glasses. Um, oh, it's two ninety nine. Thanks, Granny. <laughs> One says "Mad about Mickey," apparently, and another says "It's all about Mickey." So one says "Mad about Mickey." One says "It's all about Mickey," and they all have Mickey on. Oh no, one has Minnie on. That's cute. Look at Minnie. What does hers say? Hers says. I'm going dotty, as you do. I've got this little lunchbox from somewhere. Um, I'm not using it as a lunchbox though. I'm gonna use it, oh, it's got a little divider thing in. I think I'm gonna use this as like a first aid box. Um, my mum works in a pharmacy, so she will give me lots of pharmaceutical drugs to keep me alive. Where is this from? A pizza tray from Morrison's. This is quite heavy. This is a heavy duty pizza tray. Lovely. I've got, a blue, dark blue hand towel, um, again my mum just picked these up for me in like her weekly shop which was very kind of her. So again, not the most exciting colour but then I don't really know, I can't, I don't really have a theme because of the wool colour. I lied, I've got two of those hand towels. And then I've got sort of one slightly bigger towel, I won't unfold it all the way, um, two slightly bigger towels rather to use for like drying my hair when I get out the shower and put it up and dry it a bit so I still need to get two big like body towels um but all in good time um right what else I've got a big old mop don't even know if I can get it in frame it's a mop I don't know how it works I don't know but it's a mop just makes me think of has anyone seen that Jennifer Lawrence film joy joy that's the one where she makes the mop isn't it was it this kind of mop maybe it was well, there we go. She invented a mop, if you didn't know. Not actual Jennifer Lawrence, whoever she was playing. Joy, she was playing Joy. Joy invented a mop. I'm losing it. From Asda, I have got three non-stick oven trays, one big one and two little ones, so I can cook chips and fried chicken all the time. I also have an aluminium non-stick 28 centimetre frying pan so I can just pretend to be Rapunzel and hit scary boys with it. We're getting through it, we're almost there. I forgot that I had these, these were not in the Ikea bag so I forgot. These are Cavalcad pans, frying pan, what are these called? They're not frying pans. Pots? Pots? Are these called pots? 
I'm so, how am I gonna survive when I can't even differentiate a frying pan and a pot? I hate myself. Um, so it's got a big one, a small one, and a medium one. Yay, so I can make scrambled eggs for 90% of my meals. And this is also from Asda. Um, this is a little pink clip lid lunchbox, BPA free, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, microwave safe, how exciting, and freezer safe. Um, just a little click like you had in primary school or secondary school. Um, it's a bright pink one, they're meant for children, but I am a child and I like pink and purple, so it's mine. And I can just use it to take my lunches in with me if I ever need to take lunch with me. Cute. I've got a measuring jug for any baking needs or what else could I use this for? Measuring alcohol? Right, Asda, I've got a gripe with you. Fix your mixing bowls. You either had a tiny, tiny, tiny mixing bowl or this big one. Like, I don't need a mixing bowl that's deeper than the size of my head. Okay, it's not deeper than my head, but I have a big head and this takes up a large proportion of my head. It's a, how big is this? Uh, seven pint, 14 cup or 4,000 milliliter. It's a 4.5 litre large mixing bowl. It's large, but if I ever feel like baking, I can use this to bake. I'm gonna take loads of our like sort of cake pans from home with me because I'm the only one who bakes in this house. So I'll take them with me and maybe I can make some friends by giving them free food and not poisoning them. I have two, yes, you heard me, two indoor power extension leads because there's only three on each one but I thought I could have one by my bed and one sort of down by my mirror or something or by my laptop so that I can make sure everything has little plug to go in and I won't overload one socket, hopefully. Got one spoon, just a little wood one, again baking. Then finally, this is the last bag. Um, this is some stuff my nan, my granny, I call her nine because that's the Welsh word for nine. I don't live in Wales but I live close to Wales. Um, too much information. She bought me a load of stuff. I went round to her house and she gave me this bag of all the little helpful things which is really sweet. So <laughs> I quote, I took this out of the bag and she said oh that's just a foreign thing. I was like okay this is interesting. Um, my granny's quite good at finding random little inventions. This is one of them. It's a five in one in I don't know what language this is it was made in Italy maybe it's in Italian as seen on TV um, it's a scarva a sabuccia a filetta a squarma and a taglia um, I'm sorry if that was offensive I stopped taking languages in year 11 um, what is it Apparently this side produces crinkle cut things by stabbing them. Interesting. This descales fish. I don't know how many fish I'm going to be descaling, but I suppose. Oh no! This descales fish. I'm a fool. This, I don't know if you can see that. Like those, uh, what am I doing? Those pointy bits descale fish, as they do. This cuts julienne strips. I don't know what julienne strips are does that to carrots in my terms um this is a peeler nice and simple i might get another peeler i don't know how good this one will be but who knows and what i thought is probably the crowning glory as the princess diaries might say of this um tool is a plastic apple corer wonderful for all my coring needs Thanks granny. <laughs> she got me all of this other stuff. It's like all silicone stuff and she got it me in the colour orange so that I could tell it was mine which I thought was sweet. I don't even own these in my current house um, but this is a silicone spoon rest for me to rest my spoon on when I get tired. Uh, <laughs> not when I get tired but you know, you know. It's a spoon rest apparently. I got a silicone deep spoon which I use this our version of this all the time at home if I'm ever doing any form of cooking so handy.
thank you. I got a silicone spatula to hit people with. No. I got a pizza cutter, because Lord knows I'm going to be eating a lot of pizza. I got some heavy duty, like kitchen scissors. I got a little whisk, so I'll probably use that for like scrambled eggs or something. Um, don't know what else I could use a mini whisk for. Little cute little egg cup that looks like a tea cup, which is super cute. And I got a egg timer. So that was a lot of stuff. Um, and I still don't have everything I need. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of stuff from home. So like, I've got a little copper mirror I'll take. I'll take some like pots and pans, like I said, like cooking stuff. I'll probably take my makeup storage with me. I'll take books and stuff that I already have, like um, we've got a chest of plastic drawers that I can take, I've got a printer I can take, that was my sister's from uni so that's helpful. So yeah there's plenty that I can take with me that I already have that I don't need to buy but me being me I did make a spreadsheet of everything I need and it's expensive and I uh, do not have half the stuff I need. On my little spreadsheet um, everything in yellow is what I've got orange is what I've half got and blue is what I still need to get there we go so I I still have a lot to get oh my god there's so much stuff and the issue for me is it's results day next week as I'm filming this get my results find out if I'm going to uni or not hopefully I am because I've bought a lot of stuff um but if I am I then go on holiday for the next two weeks I come back and I have less than a week until I go so I need to get my life together. Yay! So sorry for like the awkward angle throughout all of this, but I, I didn't know how to set this up and still be able to fit everything in. I hope you appreciate me making a massive mess of my bedroom to film all of this. Hopefully it was helpful and you picked up some things that you might not have thought you needed. I feel like I'm taking way too much stuff. I feel like I'm overpacking majorly, but also I feel like everything I've got is essential. So I, I just, I don't know, I don't know. What is wrong with, many things are wrong with me. Overpacking is just one of them. Anyway, I'm rambling. So that's that. Um, what do I need to tell you to do? Um, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this was of some help and I'll see you soon. Bye.